Prophetic Messages from Holy People, today we will listen to the message of from Blessed Elena Aiello. Before we start let us pray three Hail Marys in honor of the Holy Trinity. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The world has become as a flooded valley, overflowing with filth and mud. Some of the most difficult trials of divine justice are yet to come, before the deluge of fire. I, for a long time, have advised men in many ways, but they do not listen to my maternal appeals, and they continue to walk the paths of perdition. But soon terrifying manifestations will be seen, which will make even the most obdurate sinners tremble. Great calamities will come upon the world, which will bring confusion, tears, struggles and pain. Great earthquakes will swallow up entire cities and countries, and will bring epidemics, famine, and terrible destruction, especially where the sons of darkness are, pagan or anti-god nations. In these tragic hours, the world has need of prayers and penance, because the Pope, the priests, and the Church are in danger. If we do not pray, Russia will march upon all of Europe, and particularly upon Italy, bringing much more ruin and havoc. Hence the priests must be in the front line of defense of the Church, by example and sanctity in life, for materialism is breaking forth in all nations and evil prevails over good. The rulers of the people do not understand this, because they do not have the Christian spirit, in their blindness, do not see the truth. In Italy some leaders, like rapacious wolves in sheep's clothing, while calling themselves Christians, open the door to materialism, and, fostering dishonest actions, will bring Italy to ruin, but many of them, too, will fall in confusion. Propagate the devotions to my Immaculate Heart, of Mother of Mercy, Mediatrix of Men, who believe in the mercy of God, and of the Queen of the Universe. I will manifest my partiality for Italy, which will be preserved from the fire, but the skies will be covered with dense darkness, and the earth will be shaken by fearful earthquakes which will open deep abysses. Provinces and cities will be destroyed, and all will cry out that the end of the world has come. Even Rome will be punished according to justice for its many and serious sins, because here sin has reached its peak. Pray, and lose no time, lest it be too late, since dense darkness surrounds the earth and the enemy is at the doors.